Living here at the South Pole is pretty unique. So here are five quick and interesting facts about life at the bottom of the world. Due to some highly sensitive camera equipment on the roof of the station, we are not allowed to have any white light outside during the winter, including light that might potentially escape from the station itself. So to keep that from happening, we have these window covers, and we use red lights anytime we're outside. Even though we are completely isolated from the rest of the world for nine months of the year during the winter, the South Pole Greenhouse still gives us access to some amazing fresh things like tomatoes and lettuce and even cucumbers and chili peppers. So because we use heat and therefore fuel to melt the ice around us to get our fresh water, we try to conserve it as much as possible. So in order to do that, you only get one load of laundry per week and just two two minute showers. Because we are so isolated from the rest of the world, nearly all of our outside communication is based on satellites. Now, aside from the 24 hour coverage that we get from the Iridium satellites, which is primarily used for emergency purposes, we have three other satellites covering us, which gives us approximately 12 to 14 hours of internet coverage per day. However, the most interesting of those three is SPTR, or spitter as we call it. And that's because it gets all chopped up like crazy because all kinds of other places have to use this satellite. Places like the Hubble Telescope or the International Space Station. And another fun little fact is that every single day, the internet coverage moves three to four minutes earlier in the day due to the orbit of the satellites, which then means that throughout the 365 days, the satellite coverage moves approximately 24 hours. If we were ever to unfortunately have an absolute catastrophe of an emergency here at the South Pole, and we were to like lose our power plant or our primary station, Fortunately, one of the wings of the station is able to seal off into basically an emergency pod. And here we'd be able to survive for quite some time while we figure out what to do or until we could be evacuated. And fortunately, this area has all the kind of stuff that you'd need, like a game room, a small kitchen, a TV slash movie room, bathrooms, housing, and most importantly, a backup power plant. So yeah, there you have it five interesting little facts about life here at the South Pole. Like I said at the very start, living here is pretty uh, unique. So when you first get here, you definitely have to make some changes to your daily life in order to, you know, make this place work for you. But I really hope you enjoyed seeing what some of those little things are. And if you did, you know what to do. Make sure you go down below and hit the little like button and then the subscribe and the bell and the comment and the share and the things. And yeah, like I said, you know what to do. And on that note, Thank you, and I will see you next week.